We're camping on the banks of the Nile River in Murchison and as the sun is going down it's very pretty and we just looked across and seen that we've been visited by a little family of elephant just on the next promontory the sun is going down quite fast now so what we're looking at here is the Nile River which we traveled on yesterday by boat up to Murchison Falls and this now flows into Lake Albert which is lower than Lake Victoria and then from Lake Albert it outflows down to form the Nile going through Sudan and eventually through Egypt and into the Mediterranean. That's the delta there. Beyond that is the border with the Congo, the mountains in the far distance. Standing on the edge of Lake Albert here, this was discovered by Sir Samuel Baker and his wife Florence and the Nile River after coming through Murchison Falls enters Lake Albert a few kilometers to my left. This then flows out of Lake Albert to form the White Nile that eventually arrives in Egypt after it's been joined by the Blue Nile. We're driving past Lake Albert in the background there. Lovely to see it.
they go. Get in the right gear, boy. So it goes 40. Brave heart. She's slithered and slipped a few times on the roads, but she's always held strong. Well done. We went up this river Nile yesterday on that very boat that you see there. And we went to the bottom of the Murchison Falls. Bye bye with the Nile. Maybe we'll see you again one day. We are driving towards uh, Ginger, which is the source of the Nile. And as you can see, we are driving into the mother of a storm here in Uganda. Yeah, I haven't seen clouds like this in PE forever. We are now at the official site of the source of the Nile. In 1858, Captain Speak and Captain Burton moved from Bagamoyo on the eastern coast of the Indian Ocean and discovered Lake Tanganyika. They were very ill and they went back to a place called Tabora or now called Unyanyembe and there Speak asked the senior man Burton if he could go north to see a, a large lake which he'd, they had been told about and Burton let him go and Speak came back with the news that he had discovered the source of the Nile, which didn't go down well with Burton. They both went back to UK and Speak got to UK before Burton did and they had an agreement that they wouldn't tell anyone that they had discovered the source of the Nile until they were both there. Burton always feeling Speak hadn't done his homework and circumnavigated the whole lake to find out if there were other rivers exiting from Lake Victoria. Speak violated that and got back to the London Geographical Society and said he discovered the source of the Nile. So in 1862 now, the Royal Geographical Society funded Speak to come back to do his homework. And he came with another army officer, Grant. And they then went up the west side of Lake Victoria and came around to the north bank here, the north side, and found this uh, exit of the Nile from Lake Victoria and he now said he had discovered the source of the Nile. There were falls going from Lake Victoria which he called Ripon Falls after the head of the Royal Geographical Society. But since then in 1964 the Ugandan government has built a dam for hydroelectric power to harness the power of the Nile River and the Ripon Falls were submerged. The river now runs six and a half thousand kilometers to the Mediterranean north into Egypt, through the Sudan, it goes to Murchison Falls, then into Lake Albert, and then all the way to the Mediterranean. It takes three months to get to the sea. And so this is the River Nile, and this is the official source of the river that you are looking at now. But it was here that Speak discovered the source of the Nile, and although this discussions about the ultimate source. This is the official source of the Nile in Uganda at a place called Jinja. You really see the strong current of the Nile here. Yeah? And I'm going to try and zoom in. We cross that amazing bridge.
are in Kusimo, which is a fairly big town for Kenya. We're just trying to get through all of this. As you can see, it's pretty chaotic. We're trying to get into this roundabout, but nobody really sticks to any. You watch out that bicycle. Oh, that guy took his life. <laughs> Look at all the <laughs> we spent the night here on the shores, on the eastern shore of Lake Victoria at a large port called Kasumu. The beautiful part of Lake Victoria. It's a bay and uh, we had a lovely evening here. There's the city in the distance and now we're on the way to the Masai Mara. Last look at Lake Victoria. Sure that we'll see Lake Victoria again on our travels. Uh, just the last little shot of it. Massive lake. You can't imagine how big it is. You're about to see some of the most amazing video of the migration into Masai Mara. 